Hey you guys, Tutorials for OSX here. This is going to be a tutorial on um, how to make a little uh, Apple script that can be useful. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make one using iTunes. Um, but you can uh, customize this to your liking. So I'm going to open up the script editor. Edit it right there. Um, so script editor is the application you're going to be using here. Um, it's automatically on your app, uh, your Mac. Um, it comes with uh, your Mac when you install Leopard, so you should have it already. Um, so what you're going to do is Apple scripts are basically um, little scripts that you can um, make into applications or you can make into scripts um, which can run tasks for you. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make, um, make an application that when you click on it, it'll start playing a specific playlist in iTunes without bringing up iTunes. So... Um, we're going to click tell application iTunes um, play playlist tunes, which is one of my playlists. And then I click end tell. So with Apple Script, um, it's basically just guessing. It's guessing, um, they make it as close to English as possible th so that you can understand it. You're going to click compile. It's going to make it into um, the colors and everything that it needs so that it recognizes it. If you see any green here, that means it's a wrong a, uh, a wrong command. Um, so something you can do is right click and there's they have all these preset things like dialogues. You can do dialogue one button, one button okay, one button, two buttons, two actions, stuff like that. You can make like dialogue box, boxes to pop up after something certain happens. But basically what this does is uh, it tells iTunes, tell application iTunes, it tells it to play the playlist tunes, which is one of my iTunes playlists. And then it's end tell, which is end the command. So I've already made this exact same, uh, very simple script, and I made it, um, after you're done with your script, you can either, um, run it to uh, actually run the script, or you can save it as an application. And that's exactly what I did. Um, I've already done this exact same script and it's right here on my dock. It says tunes. Um, that's what I named it because that's the name of the playlist. If I click this and open the application, so it'll start playing my playlist right when I open the application. And it won't keep the application open because it's just a script. But notice it didn't bring iTunes to the front, it's just playing in the background. Um, so iTunes is being told to do that, but it's not being told to run the application. Like, even if I had iTunes closed, it would still play, because it's telling uh, iTunes in the background to start playing the song, but not to, um, but, uh, but not to open itself. Um, so, I'm not sure if this will work, but let me, let me try play song one uh, okay spoke to the end of the line so I got found okay so I guess you can't play certain songs or if there is it's a different play track okay so maybe it'll play the track Let's see yep it's playing the it's playing that song on my iTunes library. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. It has, kinda has this war little thing at the very start of it. So yeah, it's, it's playing that track. So basically what I did there is I just guessed it. I just, you totally guessed the command. Um, and you just see if it works when you press compile. If there's an error message, then it's wrong. But this is a very helpful application that comes with your Mac. And it can do many tasks for you. All you have to do is guess. All you have to do is tell application or whatever application and end tell at the end. And everything in the middle it should just be a guess. Um, that's, that's at least what I do. And I've learned many things from just doing this. So... Yeah, it's been Tutorials for OSX, guys. It's a totally beginner tutorial on Apple Script. I'm just a beginner, too. I mean, you don't have to be an expert on anything to be able to do this. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Uh, rate this video five stars, please, and I'll see you in the next video.
Uh, let's do that. 